mass of an atom is atomic mass then what will be the mass of a molecule we know that a molecule can have more than one atom so the sum total of atomic mass of these atoms will make the molecular mass sum total of the atomic mass of various atoms found in a molecule of maybe same element or a compound for example again if we take the case of water what will be the molecular mass of water the atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 so h2 will mean 1 into 2 is equal to 2 and atomic mass of oxygen is 16 so atom molecular mass of water becomes 1 into 2 plus 16 which is 18 in case of ammonia it will be atomic mass of nitrogen is 14 plus 1 into 3 so this becomes 17 in case of sodium chloride it will be sodium is 23 chlorine is 35.5 so it is 58.5 and what is the unit by which we express it first it was amu mo and now iupac has changed it to mu Now, if somebody asks you to weigh an atom, what will you do? Laugh. How can I weigh atom? It is so small. What kind of balance will I use? I can't even hold it. I can't even see it. Same problem was faced by the scientists also. Atom is so small, so small. How to kind of weigh it? And how to measure it? And if we want to measure it, do we weigh it? or do we measure its size or we do we count its number now i will give you a very interesting example say i want to know how many particles would there be in any given substance of 1 kg so i went to market i bought 1 kg of banana about 7 or 8 bananas came then i said okay i will buy 1 kg of mango now there were only four or five mangoes i further went up i said okay i will take some peaches now in 1 kg of peaches the number of peaches became more then i bought some grapes in 1 kg the number of grape was much more and then you know what i did i bought 1 kg of rye and then 1 kg of zira and now you keep counting the grains how many grains would be there in 1 kg of zira so difficult so very difficult to count similarly when we want to count the number of atoms it is very difficult another thing scientists also wanted to know how much how many number of atoms are there in 1 kg and what does one atom weigh now because it's so small we have to use a larger unit just as a whole seller when he is selling things he will not count 1 2 3 you want to buy tea sets they will say how many scores how many dozens because if they count or sell in terms of ones and twos they cannot neither make money nor they have that kind of time so there it is in either dozens or in scores that is 12 dozens so here also they had to evolve a method or a concept by which they were able to do this and that is what was called mole concept